Russia building first flight prototypes of Checkmate stealth fighter. The general director of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation Yuri Slusar has announced that the first flight prototypes of the Checkmate next generation single-engine fighter are currently under construction. I would like to hint that the plant at Komsomolsk has started to build a few prototypes for the starting batch, he stated on November 14. The announcement was made as the fighter was making its foreign debut at the Dubai Air Show. With the United Arab Emirates reported to already be a partner in the program and expected to be a Russia's significant client, and America's F-35, while it was are confirmed that multiple prototypes are under example, construction, like the F-35, the so Russian checkmate car includes widely plant, displayed. It is uncertain how many are being built. A non-flight prototype was seen with black coverings in July, and it is expected that the first flight prototype will be seen before mid-2023. This will be in line with the fighter program's ambitious schedule to be ready for serial production by 2024 and begin deliveries by 2026. The Checkmate is expected to be marketed as a successor to the fourth-generation medium-weight MiG-29 Fulcrum fighter which first flew in 1977, advanced variants of which are still in production today. The new stealth aircraft is expected to have have significantly lower operational costs and maintenance requirements than heavyweight fighters such as the Su-30 and Su-57 which occupy most Russian production lines, and the only MiG-29 clients which can be ruled out as potential checkmate operators are Poland, and further stated, Bulgaria and Slovakia due to their membership of NATO and Ukraine for political reasons. This leaves 20 other countries where the MiG-29 is currently in service, where the checkmate could be a successor. The fighter was funded privately without Russian government support, and is expected to be the world's first single-engine stealth jet with thrust vectoring engines and a supercruise capability. It will also be the first single-engine fighter serially produced in Russia in almost 40 years. Useful new capability for F-35C stealth fighters demonstrated. The F-35C was the last variant of the American stealth fighter to join the U.S. military and is currently in low-level production. The fighter was designed specifically for operations from the carrier decks of the U.S. Navy's Nimitz and Gerald Ford class supercarriers. And among the features included on the aircraft for this purpose are strengthened landing gear, folding wings, a wider wingspan for better maneuvering onto the carrier deck and a hook to allow the fighter to be caught by a carrier's arresting gear. In terms of cost, the F-35C occupies a position between the F-35B, the most costly fighter currently in production anywhere in the world, and the standard F-35A which costs around 30% less than the B variant. 
The F-35B was designed primarily for the U.S. Marty Corps and is intended for operations from lighter carriers such as the U.S. Navy's America-class ships, which lack arresting gear or catapult launch systems. The F-35A is a more standard design produced in larger numbers for use from regular airfields by the U.S. Air Force and the light air units across the world. The F-35C is the only variant of the F-35 which has not received export orders. Largely because the U.S. is the only country to deploy supercarriers where even the F-35B has seen orders from countries with light carriers such as Japan. While the F-35C is well known for its carrier-launched capabilities, what is less well known is that the jets are also designed to operate from short and austere runways on land in ways the standard F-35A cannot. This capability was demonstrated by the U.S. Marine Corps, which received its first F-35C squadron in 2020.